Welcome back to Trash Panda Off-Road. Today, we're gonna mess around a little bit with the tin top, see if we can get this thing to start. This is the 87 tin top on Toyota axles, has the 2.0 in it. I was told that it needed a starter installed in order for it to run, but if you look, there's a starter in there. Also talked to somebody who used to own it, and I think I sold him that starter. That's how funny this small world is. Um, and he tells me that it had something to do with the positioning sensor. Wasn't right. And I don't know. It looks right to me, but it's definitely out of time. That's not right. So I honestly don't know what we're going to do here. Um, check to make sure there's oil in it and coolant in it and then oh that's not right then we'll put a battery in it looks like they tried got new cables and stuff so, a little bit of water in there and let's see dipstick for the two liter is right here and it's broken yeah yeah can't quite grab it with my fingers to make sure there's oil in it so we'll do that check the oil I will haul a battery over here we'll hook a battery up to it now the way they claim the previous owner claims to start this was you got to turn this key here and then the first button right here that activates the starter is what I was told Hook the battery up just to see and uh we got some lights right there so something happened let's see if something happens here uh oh dash stuff comes on okay and then in theory this button here is what they said oh okay it made some noise let's take a look here You know what that is a starter issue it sounds like that starter is shooting right past there so I know from what I okay I don't know from what I hear there's a difference between the starters that you need in order to make this work with the two liter I guess it has ones an eight star ones a nine star something like that I'm not a hundred percent sure but that starter sure sounds like it's just shooting right past the flywheel um, if that's the case, I have another starter out of the Overland build that should work on that. I'll have to pull that one out. So we'll pull that starter out and see what happens. You guys haven't seen this rig on the channel for a while, but this is the Overland build. It has a froze up 2.3 liter in it. <clears throat> that motor came from the wrecking yard with issues. I didn't get it installed in time to get the warranty on it. Um, and then, yeah, well, you know how life goes. This is what happens when you got like eight project cars. So this motor is froze up, but buried down in there is the starter that I have used ever since I put a two liter in here. So I'm pretty sure that starter will work. I just got to get it out of here. The left one is the one that just came out of the Samurai. The right one is the one I took off the 2.3 on the Overland build. Um, it's a little longer, but other than that, I don't know what other difference there would be. I looked in here and counted the gears. This one has eight, and this one here has eight. So, yeah, I'll need help in a couple minutes. Not sure what the major difference is, but we're gonna put this one in because I know it works with the two liter and the 2.3 and see if that changes anything. And put this thing back in, or I'm sorry, put the new one in and it turns out that bottom bolt is stripped. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. But for now, we're gonna put that one in. We're gonna put the battery back in. We're gonna see if it does the exact same thing the other starter did. And uh, half of me wants to just, uh, Pull this thing up and down the street and pop the clutch but i don't know we'll see would make for a good video it's making some noises out here 
All right, turn, push the little button, see what happens. Oh, of course, that battery doesn't have enough juice now. All right, let's, we'll hook the tombstone charger up to it. Go ahead and turn the key back off. All right, turn the key. All right, hit the button. No, it turned the engine, but it did skip. The starter did skip. I think there needs to be a spacer in there. I know this isn't right, but I went ahead and put some washers in there, kind of spaced that uh, starter out a little. And now we'll see if that makes a difference, if it makes less noise, and if that is the whole reason why, well, at least why it won't crank over. I, uh, there's probably other reasons why it doesn't start, but at least we'll have that part remedied. All right, turn the key. Now that was odd because battery chargers at amps. All right. Oh, oh, oh. What does your little amp reader say now? 14. It said 17. It didn't turn over. Now what's it say? All right. 16. Turn the key. All right. Push the button. It seemed to be better, but still not right. Hmm. Like I said, I know that starter works on a 2 liter because it was in my 2 liter. So, maybe we'll just pull this whole motor out, put it into mine, and then try to fix it from there. I don't know. Alright, give me one more shot. Yeah, it definitely didn't change anything. That starter's still not quite right. I don't know why. Still makes a lot of noise. Barely turns the engine. I don't know why it's bypassing. If it's shooting past it. Or what the problem is on the inside there. But I do know that, that is a starter that works to a tracker transmission. And a 2 liter. Because I've used it for years. Well, back when that car ran, I used it. So it's just not grabbing correctly and I have other starters but they're the same so I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find a nine star starter or I guess that's the difference one's a nine star and one's an eight star or maybe a two liter starter I don't know have to do a little more research to get into this the other thing I've noticed though and I don't is that when we my wife turns the key and activates everything I am not feeling anything on that fuel pump, so it might not be working. Um, doesn't really matter until we can get the engine to turn over, but something might be wrong here with the fuel pump as well. So this is where we're at. We are going to look into, do a little research. I believe that a five speed and an automatic have two different types of starters. I think there's like one that has a five, uh, nine, star gear and the other one has an eight star gear or something i don't know for sure all the starters i have lying around here have the eight star gear and as you've just seen that's not turning this motor over so we are going to do some research and if we have to buy a new starter we'll try that um put that in there and see if that changes anything we'll just keep working away unless someone wants to buy it because like i've said uh, in previous videos all my samurais are on the marketplace the problem with all this stuff is you get so focused on nothing because you have a whole bunch of these things uh, all right thanks for watching follow along trash panda off-road on instagram subscribe to the channel all kinds of suzuki stuff happening around here